testing how much sugar you should use for black tea. Let's go. Starting with 1%. That's actually already pretty good. I can taste a bit of sweetness, but not too much. Let's go to 2%. Okay, that's actually really nice as well. It's still a bit bitter. You can still taste a lot of tea, but the sugar's also, they're kind of sharing the stage here, but not in a good way. I don't know if that makes sense. Let's go to 4%. This is probably the most balanced. Like, again, they're sharing the stage, but they're complementing each other. And the 2% one, they were sharing the stage still, but it kind of felt like sugar was just a bit too far to the right, and the tea was more central. But in this one, they're having a perfect duet. Let's go to 8%. Whoa. Okay, in this one, it tastes good because obviously it's sugar, and sugar is sweet, and I like sweet things. If I'm using the stage analogy again, then here sugar's taking the main role. It's doing the singing and all that stuff, and the tea is just a supporting background dancer. Which is, not, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that's what the situation is. In terms of if I, if I wanted to sell tea, I'd use 8% sugar because it definitely would appeal to the most people and it tastes the sweetest in a good way for now. Let's go to 16%. Okay, yeah, this is pretty much like if McDonald's made tea, they would use this much sugar in it. This is a weird experiment because I like, like it tastes good because of course there's sugar, it tastes sweet and it's good but you shouldn't use this much sugar. I'm going back and drinking it, but that's just because I have a sweet tooth. Yeah, 8% I think is the highest I would go. And 32, oh boy, this is gonna be maple syrup pretty much. Yikes. Okay, actually even, there's a limit to sweetness. This is way too much. Yeah, no, this actually makes me feel sick right after you drink it because you can feel the carbs and the, and the saccharides. Is that the word for saccharides? Yeah, I think that's the word for sugars. Going back down. Of course, I'm biased now because I've tasted 32, but 60 doesn't feel that bad anymore. Okay, let me just cleanse my palate a bit. Serious final answer. I go for 4% as like a day-to-day -day thing. Actually, now, now it doesn't taste that good anymore. Let's try eight. Okay, final, final answer. Eight or 4%. Again, I'm biased because I went all the way to 32. So obviously everything's gonna taste less sweet now, but I say 8% is a pretty good balance. And then 4% if you wanna tone it down a bit more. Two and one now? Um, nah, they don't really, they don't do it for me anymore. <laughs> Let's go to eight. Yeah, that's pleasant. Four is, four is all right. And then 16 is, oh, 16 is too much, too much. 8% for sure. It's also kind of weird because <laughs> the results of the test kind of speak for themselves just by the amount I've drank from each one. So that's, I guess, a nice visual way of telling what the experiment resulted in. That's all for now. Oh, uh, details about the experiment. I used 2% concentration of Indian black tea. So that's two grams per 100 milliliters of water. And the way I actually did this was first, I mixed a stock solution of 32% by adding 32 grams of sugar to 100 milliliters of tea. And then I just doubled the, the volume by adding unsweetened tea. I just doubled the volume each time to get half the concentration of sugar. I wouldn't say this is especially high grade tea. It's not whole leaf or anything like that but it's what I drink every day, so that's what I'm using. Try your own experiments to see what works for you.